Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I filmed a tutorial on the look I'm wearing right now. And um, I really, really love it. It is a all matte um, like eye look. So the eyes are all matte um, shadows. And I use this palette. It is by Morphe Brushes. And it's the 35N palette. So it, this palette is just beautiful. Um, I love... I just like love it. It has like... Um, Every color you like you would need um, I and they're pretty cheap I think this is like 20 bucks um, and I love Morphe brushes um, we were just in LA so I did hit up um, Morphe brushes and I kind of splurged and got a lot of stuff but that's okay because they're pretty affordable um, actually really affordable the brushes are awesome they're really high quality and I use a lot of brushes um, Morphe brushes in this tutorial so yeah, I hope you guys like this tutorial. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up so I know I'm doing something right. <laughs> and um, don't forget to comment down below anything you'd like, um, any like video suggestions or stuff like that. Um, I'd love to hear from you guys. And please subscribe, it's just right there and you're already here, so why not? And thanks for watching, I'll see you in a second, bye! All right guys, so first things first, I'm going to be priming my face with the Makeup Forever Skin Equalizer. This is the mattifying base one. Um, I love it. It is like my ride or die lately. It is my favorite. Now I'm putting on my Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation with my Beauty Blender. This is the black one and I feel like it's the best. It's like the pro one. Um, I feel like it's the best one. I've had like the pink one and like a red carpet one. It was like a promotional one. And I just didn't like them so I recommend the black one. Now I'm just putting on my, um, highlighting my face with the Better Skin Concealer. I think this is by Maybelline also. Um, I love this concealer. It's very lightweight and it blends out so nice. So I really like it and it makes like my under eyes crease no matter what but I feel like it doesn't crease that bad <laughs> with this one because it's so lightweight but it gives you pretty good coverage. It's not like amazing coverage but it is really nice. Um, now I'm taking a Morphe brush and I'm just going to kind of move that product where I want it. I kind of like trying to concentrate it just underneath my eyes and on my lids to prime my lids for eyeshadow. So I'm just kind of moving that around with that one and then I will go in with my beauty blender and blend it back out. And I'm just going to set where we put the concealer underneath my eyes with the Your Minerals. I got that from a BoxyCharm and I really like it. Now I'm just going to highlight my face. Um, with like this, it's like a highlighting crayon, and it's from So Susan. I got it from the BoxyCharm box as well, and I really like it. It's really nice. It more subtle, um, and then I'm going to blend it out with a Morphe brush. That is my favorite favorite highlighting brush at the moment. I love Morphe brushes. Um, I definitely think it is so worth it. They're pretty inexpensive and very, very good quality. Next, I'm going in with my Too Faced Bronzer in Chocolate Soleil, and I'm just going to warm up my face. Um, I love bronzer, so I pack it on. I'm not going to lie, but I love it, so who cares? <laughs> um, I'm using a Real Techniques blush brush, I believe, but I love this. It just gets the job done so quickly. Um, I didn't like contour or anything, I just wanted to bronze up my face. Now I'm going in with the star of the show. This is the Morphe 35N palette, or 35N palette. Um, I love this palette, it is so nice. It is an all matte, um, like I think the N stands for neutral, but it's all matte. Um, and I love it, so I kind of went with my shirt color on this one. It is um, an orangey brown. And I'm just dusting that into the crease of my eyes uh, with a Syncova E40, I believe. And that is my favorite. It's a Sigma brush. Those are so great as well, but they are pretty expensive for brushes. So Morphe, that's where it's at for brushes and everything else pretty much. Now I'm just taking a, a color similar to the one we just used in our crease, but a few shades darker. And I'm just going to more focus that on the outside and directly in the crease. The other one I kind of was sloppy with because that's our trans transition color. Goodness, I can't talk. Next, I'm using a flat shader brush 
um, from Morphe again, and this is a like pinky peach orange color. <laughs> I'm putting that on my lid and I'm just packing that on, but I think it is so pretty the combination of like the peachy pink color and then like the tannish orange is just beautiful. Um, it's really soft on the eyes and I don't know, I just love the color combination. It was just really pretty. But it is an all matte palette, so that's kind of cool. I've been really into doing like all matte eyes instead of having like a ton of shimmer or like metallic eyes and all that stuff. Sometimes you just need to bring it down a notch and, you know, do simple stuff. <laughs> so I think this is a really good everyday look. This brush that I'm using right here, I'm going to leave all the brushes that I use down below, but this one is my favorite. I can get right in that pocket, that outside pocket of my eye, to kind of create some more dimension and like a cat eye. It is just the best for that. Um, I did put on lashes. They're from Blinking Beauty, I believe. They are so gorgeous. They are mink lashes. My first pair ever. Um, they are just to die for. They're so natural and fluffy and great. They are from Morphe Brushes too, but I don't think Morphe Brushes makes them. They just sold them in the store whenever I went. So yeah. Then I just used the same color that I used on the outside of my um, eye, like the corner of my eyes, to smoke out my bottom lash line. And I added a little bit of um, black uh, shadow on my lash line just to make my eyes pop a little bit. Then I just used Max Soar, I believe, on my lips, lined my lips and filled them in, and used the Naked um, Lip Gloss on top, and I just love this look. It's so, like, fresh and kind of, like, I don't know why, but it reminds me of October because it's Halloween, and yeah. I hope you guys love this tutorial. I loved filming it for you guys. All the people you hate. What? <laughs> just kidding. 